and we welcome you to the WB Mason postgame. Bob Lorenz, John Flaherty, Jack Curry, and Michael K. with you as the Yanks lose to the Astros in Game 3 of the ALCS. 5 nothing is the final. The hitting has gone absolutely frigid flash. Just one hit going into the ninth. They end up with three hits, no runs. Yeah, I go back to the first two games of this series where I thought Verlander was great. I thought Valdez had that great breaking ball. In this game, Javier got himself in a little bit of trouble in some fastball counts and came right at the Yankees. I think in the first inning, Aaron Judge had a 3-1 fastball right down Broadway. He fouled it off. I think to the fifth inning, Josh Donaldson had a 3-1 pitch right down the middle, popped it up, and then he's grinning on his way back to the Yankee dugout. So this felt different to me. They were attacked with the fastball and completely dominated. Before this series began, we all said the Astros were the better team on paper. In order to beat a team that's better than you, you need to play flawlessly. The Yankees did not play flawlessly today not even close in a game they absolutely had to win we did not see a vintage performance John you spoke about the lack of offense there was miscommunication in the outfield between Bader and Judge that led to two unearned runs there was a decision to move uh, Cole your ace take him out of the game bring in Trevino that led to three more runs and it just felt as if the Yankees offensively were sleepwalking through this game and the Astros obviously have a stranglehold on this series now and there's no excuse I mean as you said it's a must win situation and and you don't sleepwalk through it there, there's no excuse for having one hit through eight innings and then you know two in the ninth inning but uh, bottom line is and we're going to hear from Aaron Boone shortly how do you take out Cole there and unless he's hurt there's no reason to take him out. Don't tell me he's compromised because he's thrown 95 pitches. This is your ace. This is your stud. The guy you got to have pitch, pitch in games like this. And you could see his face when he left the mound. He couldn't believe it. And you didn't bring in uh, Loisaga. You brought in Trevino. No knock on Trevino there. But you didn't even bring your best relief pitcher in with the bases loaded. You took out your best starter with the bases loaded for what? I can't wait to hear the excuse. All right. We're going to hear from Aaron Boone coming up in just a bit. But the Yankees offense this series, if you take a look at the number, Absolutely dismal. Just four runs in three games. A 128 average on 12 hits. They've struck out 41 times. Only five extra base hits. They have six hits or fewer in all eight postseason games, Jack. And it just, it's boggling the mind how when they were so good at times, stringing together runs, getting um, guys on base. They can't get guys on base. Uh, they can't string hits together. Good at bats. There were only a handful of good at bats in this one. We heard Aaron Boone throughout the regular season talk about his hitters winning at bats go up there and win the at bat the Yankees didn't win any at bats today John mentioned the at bat with judge in the first inning there were 10 plate appearances in which Javier got to counts of 3-1 3-0 2-1 and 2-0. In those 10 plate appearances, the Yankees managed one hit and two walks. They were in position to do some damage. He was giving them the opportunity to do something offensively, and Bob, for whatever reason it was, whether it was over-aggressiveness, whether it was anxiousness, whether it was Javier just winning the battle, the Yankees won none of those man-to-man -man matchups against him. A lot of this offense all year has been predicated on the excellence of, of Aaron Judge. He's 1 for 12 in this series. He's 5 for 30 in the postseason. If he doesn't go, this Yankee offense doesn't go. And I'd like to find the, the touchstone, the point, at the midway point of the season when they went from a great team, the first team to 70 wins, when it all just fell apart. I'd like to know when it happened because this team hasn't been hitting for most of the second half of the season either, and now it's continued in the postseason, and their pitching got them through the Guardians, not the hitting. Michael, you mentioned Aaron Judge and his numbers. I mean, coming down the stretch, he was going for this home run record. He was playing every day. We've heard about load management all year long. He was grinding it out at the end, and he had to to go for that home run record. It has to be affecting him right now. I would think so. I mean, that's the only excuse. This guy was the best player in baseball all year and all of a sudden even though it's good pitching hit good pitching all year he was the guy who hit when the Yankee lineup didn't have anybody else but him in August and the early September he carried the team 
So what's happening now? He had to be fatigued from that home run record. He had to. We praised him so much throughout the season that I don't want this to feel like cherry picking, but it's a postseason game that was an absolutely must-win game. Fourth inning, he strikes out on a slider. That might have been the worst swing that Aaron Judge has taken this year. The ball was almost already in Vasquez's mitt before he swung. Sixth inning, he strikes out on a splitter. Now, it, it was a good splitter, but again, you could see that Aaron Judge wasn't himself. He's at his best when he's not chasing, he was chasing there. All right, guys, Aaron Boone is speaking to the